Hey y'all, it's Eric with EastTexasHomestead.com and today's project, I am going to replace the steps that are behind me. Um, yeah, they're just kind of dangerous and I, they're temporary, they're supposed to be temporary, but um, they're pretty wobbly and narrow and um, some people have a hard time getting up them and feeling safe. And um, they're kind of a pain to um, load stuff in and out of the house. So I'm going to make something a little bit easier. So as you can see, I just used some cinder blocks and and uh, some other bricks that that I found um, to make three little steps here going into the house, which clearly needs some work done. Um, I'll be replacing all of this eventually, but till then, um, we're going to start building this set of steps. For the material we're going to use today, I'm going to be using the treated 2x6s that I got from a hot tub deck that was reclaimed. Um, the family wanted a new deck and so um, I was able to come in and uh, take apart the old one and get the lumber and it's in really good condition. Okay, so I'm going to try to reuse as much of this old decking material as possible in the way that I recovered it. And so um, this was actually a post that was used for the old railing system. And it went this way, and it was bolted to the, um, to the deck. Well, I'm going to flip it over this way, and I'm actually going to take the 2x6s, two 2x6s on either side, of the the steps and I'm gonna notch them to where they sit right inside this this um, cut here and then they're gonna come out diagonally and that's what the steps are gonna be faceted in between and um, give us the the steps going up so um, first thing we need to do is determine the angle that those diagonal uh, two by sixes are gonna sit at Okay, so holding the 2x6 up against the house like this, I took another and held it flush against the, the house and then marked a line. So then I can actually take, take this line, put my speed square on it, and come out and see what that angle is. You can see it's right at a 25 degree angle. So then I'm going to transfer that onto my actual treated lumber and cut it to length, um, which is seven feet is what I came out on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so as you can see, I've cut the two by six, the treated two by six to the correct angle here, but it's still too long and the, the bottom piece is not cut yet. So I can't set it down. It's actually going to sit right about here. So let me show you the bottom. Okay, so you can see at the bottom, it's sitting on the point, but what we want is to be a, a nice flat surface. So what I'm going to do to get that marked on the board, so I'm going to set a few blocks here. So I get right up to this edge, I'm going to make a line, and that's what I'm going to cut. Okay, so now that we have both of our diagonal 2x6s cut, we are going to notch them out so that they will sit nicely inside the 2x4s. Four four so to get that measurement, I'm going to grab my speed square, and I'm actually going to set it down right here because I, I want to make sure that it's notched pretty low and make a small notch so that I don't end up compromising the the integrity of this so what I'm gonna do is come right down here to the edge into the, the very corner of it I'm gonna go ahead and make my first mark and then we know that the 4x4 is actually three and a half inches and there's this nice little hole right here so I'm gonna put my pencil in it I'm just gonna drag just like that so that gives us our square um, 
marks so that I can go ahead and cut this out. So I'm going to cut out the majority of it with my skill saw and then I'll finish it off by hand just so I don't end up having to cut in here. So I've determined the height of the, the left post and on the right, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get level off of the left and then make a mark, which I've already done. And now what I'm going to do is take the distance here and cut that off of the bottom. And so that will allow me to get this post to where these, these two notches here are level and then I will cut this angle back here at 25 degrees like I did on that one and that will allow for the 2x6 to sit flush as it, as it moves up in this direction. Okay, so now that I have these two pieces up, what I'm going to do is cut the brace that goes across the top and another one that goes about midway. And each of those, I'm going to put three feet in between um, the two diagonal 2x6s and so that leaves me with three and a half inches on either side there, so I need to cut that at three foot seven inches. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna cut two up. So here's what we've got so far. We've got the two braces on the back that are connecting to the, the two posts. And connecting to those posts as well are the two diagonal 2x6s. Two so what we're going to do from here is I'm going to go in and I'm going to take one bys or, or something, I'm not sure what yet, and place strips right here. And that will allow us to, to stack our two by sixes as our steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and make measurements there and cut all those pieces and then I'll be. Okay, so I've gone ahead and assembled the first um, top two steps here. And what I did was I took a two by six, about 11 inches long and I, I ripped it in half. So I've got two pieces from one 11 inch two by six. And I used these pieces here as the braces there's the support underneath um, the three foot two by six pieces so to make the steps. So I took this and just right up against the, the diagonal and then that's what is going to support the steps. Okay so I'm going to measure down 16 inches from the corner of this last step right, right there and I made a mark then I took my level and I drew a line on level right here. Now I'm going to take into consideration the inch and a half because I want this this edge to be flush with the top of the diagonal 2x6 so um, I'm going to come down my inch and a half make a line there And that is where I'm going to 
grab my nail gun. That's where I'm going to fasten this piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that level. Out there. And double check it again. Out just a little. And that'll do it. We'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, got the steps completed. Gonna get back to work inside the house.